Hey, what's going on, Sam Rice? Welcome to today's video. I am Sam, Sam I am. If you're brand new around here and you're not subscribed, well, right now, you should go down and click that big, beautiful red subscribe button because we would love to have you as part of the familia. Also, remember to follow me on all my social media at Sam Angelo so you guys can stay up to date with everything I'm doing. Uh, wait, that's, is that the right button? That's the right button. All right. So today, like it says, we are going to be unboxing Google Home. I went to Best Buys. It was a hundred bucks. So I said, what the H? Let's buy one. See what it could do. Let's compare it to Alexa, which as you guys know, Alexa runs my house. It runs my studio. I could turn on and off my lights. I could turn on and off basically everything. Everything in my house, it could tell me what my uh, air conditioner is doing. So everything is controlled by Alexa and the Echo units. Uh, but I figured let's try Google because I've heard a whole bunch of good stuff about Google. I heard it maybe knows a little bit more than Alexa, uh, but we will put it to the test and see uh, who knows more. And you're all probably asking, well, he has Alexa, he has Google Home. Is he going to get a HomePod? Probably, yeah, yeah, probably gonna go buy a home pod too. I have an addiction. Uh, we're gonna have to go to some type of 12 step program for buying smart home hubs, but uh, we will deal with that uh, when we get to that point. So, the first thing I did is download the Alexa or download the Alexa, download the Google Home app. I have that on my phone, but let's first unbox it and see what's inside of her. All right, so there were some little tabs. I already cut those off. So there's first this little decorative cover, uh, which we don't need. Then we have this cool box, which opens like this, and it goes, and magically we see the Google Home unit. So we are going to take the Google Home unit. Let me see. You got to make sure to block the camera. And I'm sorry, guys. We are renovating the studio, so we're working uh, on limited space here. So... I don't have multiple cameras and all that set up right now. Uh, I'm just videotaping from right in front of my desk. But let's check her out. So, so far, it looks very, very fancy. So this would look beautiful sitting on a shelf. It looks like high-end home fashion uh, compared to some of the other smart home hubs. Uh, this is much nicer in design, uh, especially if it's going to be sitting out in your house. So that's the first thing that next in the box is the instructions, which we will go through in a second. And then last but not least is the power cable. All right. And power cable looks like any other power cable. Uh, it's fairly long. You know, that's the one thing I don't think with any of these smart home hubs, they don't make the cables long enough because if you want to put it like way up on a, lamp or on a table or if you want to put not on a lamp if you want to put it way up on a dresser or on some type of like shelving unit the cable is just not long enough on any of these to really make it there but it looks pretty simple uh and self-explanatory set up you take the end of this power cable and you stick it in the hole like so boop and she's good to go then we plug this end into electricity sorry i have to bend it into the desk for a second all right, so that is plugged into electricity. We'll clean up here a little bit, and we will go through the setup process. So we are going to launch the uh, app, and we are going to go to uh, add a device. We're going to go to add a device. Is that where we wanted to go to? Hang on. It's, something's happening. Something's happening. All right, we hear we hear her. Hang on, let me close out of the app. I think my phone froze there for a second. It's not the app's fault. It's my phone. My phone is uh old and needs replacing. Hang on, let me launch the app again and see. All right, so we're gonna go and we are going to add a device. Um, it says connect your voice. So the first thing it's asking us to do is set up an account. So we are going to go through. I got to choose my Google account I want it to connect to. 
Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Um, and for those of you who want to see the whole screenshot by screenshot process, I will make one of those types of videos as well. This is more just like a live hangout. You guys have questions about Google Home, uh, feel free to ask them. And we will go from there. So I'm just kind of going to go through this real fast. Agree, agree, agree. Connect to Wi-Fi. Connect the Wi-Fi. Agree. Okay. So now it's asking me to train the Google Home unit. All right, so we are gonna say, okay, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. All right, it says set up voice match. So it's doing something. It says it may take a couple minutes. So, so far, this app is much more intuitive than most of the other apps I've used. Much simpler, much more user friendly, uh, in my opinion, compared to everything else I've experienced so far. This has been very, very simple to set up. It's only took me a couple minutes. I had to sign in to my account. Uh, and I'll be honest with you guys, I had some of that registration process already done before I started this video. I was pretty much basically at the part where I needed to, uh, hook, connect to the Google and start the voice training part. So I went through the whole registration and the connected to the Wi-Fi actually before the stream started, but it was very simple to go through. But I thought I would just use my best acting skills to make it look like I was doing something, but I had that kind of pre-done. But it was very simple. It took, took me, I would say, less than maybe five, six minutes to get through. All right, I'm going to go no thanks there. And I think it's ready. It's set up. It, it asked me to name the unit too. So I gave it a name. This is my office speaker right now. Um, it was very simple to set up. I have to say that was literally, I have to give Google props. That was literally one of the easiest uh, interfaces I have ever used in a smart home uh, device. If you are not tech savvy, this would definitely be one of the things I would recommend to get if you're looking at a smart home hub. It was real simple to connect to my system, um, at least in my opinion and for me. But I also play with smart home devices all day long. All right, let's see what she can do. Hey, Google, what time is it? It's 1.49. It is 1.49, she's correct. Hey, Google, what's today's date? It is Monday, the 10th of September, 2018. Hey, Google, tell me a joke. Acupuncture is a jab well done. Ouch. Oh, that's a bad joke. Although I'm going to bring that to, I'm going to go tell that to my uh, acupuncture therapist later today when I go see them for my neck. Hey, Google, tell me another joke. Why is Peter Pan always flying? Because he can never, never land. Oh, that's actually pretty funny. Hey, Google, tell me information about a Labrador retriever. According to Mental Floss, Labrador Retrievers have such sensitive noses that they can be trained to diagnose cancer. In fact, some stages of ovarian cancer can only be diagnosed by dog. That is actually very, very, uh, I believe, true. My mom has a service dog. Hey, Ozzy, where are you? Uh, and he is trained to do all kind of cool stuff from uh, scent. You know, he can pre-detect seizures. He can, uh, well, I don't know if he can pre-detect seizures, but when somebody's having a seizure, he, like, can, like, lay on them to make them, like, feel more comfortable. Uh, he can smell, like, pee to know when things are out of line and kind of tells that. I think he's sleeping right now, or maybe he's outside with my mom. But, um, it's, he's really, really cool lab. Uh, Google, what's a Dudley Labrador Retriever? Hey, Google, what's a Dudley Labrador Retriever? On like the website labrador-retriever-guide.com, they say, A Dudley Lab is a Labrador Retriever that lacks pigmentation on the eyes, eye rims, muzzle, and nose. This is a genetic trait that is very rare and affects only the yellow Labrador Retrievers. And that is what Osmo is. He is a Dudley Labrador Retriever. We just found that out. So one thing I do kind of feel like I'm on Jeopardy because I always have to be like, 
hey, Google. And the second I say her name, she starts listening. Now she's going to tell me she can't help me watch. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help, but I'm learning more every day. Hey, Google, where is Angelo Productions located? The address for Angelo Productions is 257 Northfield Road, Bedford, Ohio, 44146. That is correct. That is cool. That is something I will say some of the other smart home devices we have do does not know how to do is uh, figure out where I am. All right, let's give it a real test. Hey, Google, who's Sam Angelo? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet. Mm. Hey, Google, who's Sam Angelo, the YouTuber? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that yet, but my team's helping me learn. Hey, Google, how many subscribers does Sam Angelo have on YouTube? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that. All right, so, so far it has no clue because I'm sure if I go, hey, Google, how many subscribers does Roman at would have? Here's a summary from the website en.wikipedia.org. His vlogging channel has a total of 3.6 billion views and 13 million subscribers. The channel is currently hey, the Google, 50th stop. most... All right, let's see if uh, she can play music. Hey, Google, play 60s music. Okay, here's a Google Play music station called Dancing to the Oldies. Hey, Google, stop! I didn't want to get a copyright, but that was fun. So, so far, Google and the other smart home hubs I've used uh, are smart home devices or smart home interfaces, whatever you want to call them, seems to be pretty much the same. Um, I will say she seems to know a little bit more than some of the other ones, uh, but that's probably because she has Google behind her, which has, I think it's like the first and second largest search engines, like Google's number one and like YouTube's number two. Um, I think with Google's other products, she probably, uh, like the Chromecast, which I think is part of Google, if I'm correct, uh, she'd become very much more useful because I think you could see like, hey, Google, play Sam Angelo on my TV, but she's going to tell me she can't do. Can't that you? artist is only available for Google Play Music subscribers, but try this Google Play Music Steve Angelo station. Hey, Google, stop. Um, So I think that if I buy a couple more things and I connect her to the existing smart home objects I have, or smart home objects, smart home devices. Wow, I cannot talk today. I think she will be uh, very useful uh, as another tool, just because, you know, if one doesn't know something, you can ask the other one. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll do a showdown. I will get the Alexa, I'll get Google, and we'll put them next to each other, and we'll ask them the same questions, and we will see who knows more. So stay tuned for that video. Um, I do have to say so far, just my first impressions, from the look of the Google device, uh, she looks much more stylish, uh, very decorative to put in your house. And I believe there are possibly different wraps and stuff you can put on them. I think I've seen those sold uh, from third party people, uh, possibly. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that that does exist. So, yeah, I think as it she comes out like that, she comes apart and that comes on. So you can see that that's kind of what's inside of the unit. You can see the speakers right there. So I think that these are interchangeable little bases you can buy for that. There's also a, uh, looks like a plug there, which I'm not 100% sure what that is for. If that's some type of like output device that this can sit into. So we will figure that out as well. And it looks like this connects via magnets on the bottom. So just whoop, and it magnetizes right on. Um, other cool things, I believe that this is, uh, like touch sensitive up here. So if you want to turn up and down the volume by twisting your finger, um, that works. Uh, but I don't, I unplugged her. Hang on. Let me plug her back in so I can show you guys. But so far I'm pretty impressed of how the whole Google unit works. Let me know what you guys want me to test, want me to try, want me to figure out. I will be more than happy to do that. Um, leave all your questions or comments or what you want me to do in the comment section below. 
and I will make sure I get that done. So this part right here is what I'm talking about. I believe this is kind of tough. You can hear when I rub my finger, it gets louder. So I believe that that's actually changing the volume. Hang on, now that it's booted, you can see that it goes up and it goes down. So you can move the volume around. You guys can't see that very well, but right there. All right, so that's going to be it for today, Sam and Samurais. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or comments, leave them in the comment section below in the video. I will put a link to Google Home if you guys are interested by it in the description below. And until next time, guys, remember to dream big, think bigger, and always be you. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.